evening. How was the state of your office, dear? <coughs> Fine. You okay, David? Sure. Atta boy, you'll get over it in no time, whatever's ailing you. And you'll see that your mother and I did the right thing for you. Sure. The right thing. Why don't you come down to the office with me tomorrow? We can have lunch at the old Vienna. The food there's too heavy for him. Since when? All those dumplings and gravy. He doesn't have to order dumplings and gravy. Why don't you take him to Judd? <clears throat> that place. Tea room food and jabbering women. Anyway, we're planning to go shopping from tomorrow. Aren't we, David? No. I don't want to go. Don't be silly, darling. You've got to have summer suits. Don't pick on the boy. If he doesn't want to go, he doesn't want to go. There'll be plenty of time for shopping when David feels up to it. I talked to West Hill Academy. They'll hold a place for you next fall. Maybe David would like to go to our local high school. Public school can't prepare a boy for college. Prepared me? Who ever heard of the college you went to? You had no trouble finding it when you were invited up for the weekend. To my everlasting regret! If nobody's going to answer that, I guess I will. Lovely manners, your father. <coughs> it's so hard for me when you're away, David, with nobody but him. It gets so lonely here. Thank you. 